Do you wear the kite leash attached to the sliding handle pass line on your harness? If so, you will know how difficult it is to release the leash. But there is a better way and it has many advantages, especially for advanced riders. Some harnesses have special attachment rings on the side, but if your harness does not have these, attach your leash directly to the spreader bar. Choose the side according to your stronger hand. If you're right-handed, attach it to the right-hand side of the spreader bar, and if left-handed, attach it to the left-hand side. Once attached, wrap the leash around your back and fasten it onto your harness hook until you're ready to launch your kite. With the leash close to your stronger hand, it is much easier and faster to pull the quick release of your leash. This early clip of the PKRA pro rider Karolina Winkowska shows the danger of having the leash attached to your back. On a failed Rayleigh to blind, the bar got tangled and sent the kite into a constant powered loop during which she had no way of pulling the quick release of her leash. This so-called death spiral of your kite can happen on any model when one of the back lines gets wrapped around the bar. Once the kite starts looping, you will be dragged through the water and it becomes next to impossible to pull the quick release if it's not close to hand. As you progress in freestyle, you will eventually start to work on the Rayleigh to blind, a pre-step to an aerial handle pass. When landing blind with the leash attached to the back of your harness, missing the bar on the pass will result in a very unpleasant backward wipeout. However, if you attach the leash as we have demonstrated in the beginning of this video, even on a missed pass you will not only avoid the backwards wipeout, but also be able to recover your kite quickly, often before it even drops into the water. If you've been following our instructional videos, why not come and meet us in person this winter in Boa Vista, Cape Verde, for one of our kite clinics.